All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Geomologist Presents, our ongoing Eberron adventure. So we are running through the adventure that is called Forgotten Relics. It's in the Eberron Tales from the Rising from the Last War book from 5e. And we have our usual suspects, except uh, one of our suspects is uh, new for today. Uh, well, you've seen another in previous incarnations, but we have joining us BJ Boyd, who's playing Knuckles, who's also a Warforged. So go ahead and introduce Knuckles to us and how you, what you did, or what happened when you leveled to second level, anything special. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Knuckles is a Warforged monk. Uh, when I leveled to second, uh, what did I get as second level? Uh, I finally got, now I have key points that I can spend, um, which includes, uh, I think, patient defense. Oh, let's see if we can pop that up there. I can spend a key point to take the dodge action as a bonus action. Uh, step of the wind, you can spend a key point to disengage your dash as a bonus action. Uh, and then I also got uh, 10, 10, 10 extra feet of movement for a low, oh. low up a second. So. so that explains you suddenly joining the heroes on the stairs. Yeah. And also flurry of blows. Immediately after I take the attack action, I can spend a key point to make up to two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Wow. Yeah. Mine gets a lot. Well, but I only have two key points. So. Yeah. You have to use them sparingly. Yeah. Right. So so uh, when we last left the heroes, they had uh, rescued Sergeant Germain, who was tied up but unconscious in the penthouse apartment of Gara, the half ogre who is on the lamb and who is uh, they found a ticket to a lightning rail. They're at this place called Terminus. I will show you the picture as a handout here, BJ. So this is Terminus and uh, you guys are uh, were sort of at the top of that second building in the middle, the penthouse there, and have run down to where you are now, which is the bridge. Um, you're there on that bridge level. Now, Onyx uh, took all the information that he found and helped drag Sergeant Germain, um, Sergeant Vilroy, Germain Vilroy, up to the to the top. Their sky coach is parked at the top of this terminus on this platform. And there, that is where he tag teamed out the other Warforged in the party, Knuckles. So Onyx is going to get on the Sky Coach and fly it down to the Lightning Rail Terminal just in case, or maybe to pick up the heroes if they're in trouble. And uh, Knuckles runs down uh, the spiral staircase here and now joins the heroes um, here at the door. So uh, any questions or anything I missed from last time? No, I don't think so. So you guys, want, this way is where the uh, the bridge is. So I guess a brandy if you peek out here from the bridge. You open the door from the bridge there, and you see uh, that what, that's what you see. You see some uh, a couple people standing on the bridge, um, kind of just loitering or you know hanging out. And oddly, there is a harpy on the bridge as well. So I guess this becomes the first question of: Do we want to just simply assume? that they are something that's going to attack us and attack first, or do we want to see if we can just walk straight through without engaging? Uh, well, let's see. So you probably, uh, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, you do know that Dosk does employ monsters, generally speaking. That is what the harpy looks. I'll show you what the harpy looks like. It's a kind of a cool picture. So 
So it's up to you how you want to um, react. I, I mean, it's not like the harpy just kind of sitting there hanging out. The harpy's like looking vigilantly. Okay. As well. So just to. Okay. Um, then I'm going to just go up and attack the harpy. Okay. I'm going to give you a stealth roll as you kind of peek stealth? through. Okay. Twenty-five. Okay, yeah, that's that's gonna beat the harpy's passive perception for sure. So you can go ahead and charge if you want to. Okay. Um. So I've got the short swords. What I'm gonna attack with? Because I. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes was a short rest. Yeah. yeah. So what's fifteen minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably been like 15 minutes or so as you kind of made, made your way down. Oh. So you had a short rest and then about two to between three and five minutes to kind of go down the stairs, assuming you're going quickly but cautiously. Okay. Oh, that is a hit. All right. All right. So... Oh, there we go. And you get your sneak attack for the um the bugbear yeah. thing. Okay, let me go ahead. Jump that. And that's two D6. Right. Okay. And then can I do the dual wielding since I have both short swords? Um, do you, is it like a bonus action, the extra attack? Uh, I think anybody can do the dual wielding. Um, that's going to be a question for somebody that knows more than me, though. <laughs> it's a yeah. bonus action. Okay. Is there a, is it, a, let me see, is it, a, no. it's just a regular attack? And you just get half so your... Yeah, since she doesn't have like any fighting styles or anything like that yep. that benefit her, um, she attacks with the short sword. It's just there's no like to attack modifier for the second. Okay. And I think does she get? I know in some games you get like half your strength. You get you you, you don't get to add your ability bonus to the damage. Okay. Okay, and. So it's no ability bonus to damage and nothing to the attack, correct? I think you should get it for the attack. You get it for the attack, but not for the damage. Okay. Um, let me have that. I did it backwards then, so I'm just fixing that up quickly. There we go. That is still a hit. With five more points of damage. Okay. All right. Well, the harpy, harpy squawks in surprise. Um, we should roll initiative now. I don't know why I didn't tag mine. I don't know. So Tiger and Bracken and Arween. There you go. Um, so Bracken rolled and it shows 14 on his screen, but it's not showing up on oh, I see it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll add him. Okay. I think I get I thought you didn't have to um and then Tiger. I thought you didn't have to click on it anymore, but I guess you still do. Okay. All right, Arween, you're up. All right. She can only go 30, right? Yeah. Of course the commoner's like screaming as it's 
30. Bugbear violently attacks her. So she's going to go as close as she can and use her long sword to stab him. Okay. You can hex too. Okay, I'll hex. I right so BJ the hex it applies to any damage, right? Or does the extra two? Or did BJ drop off? No, he didn't drop off. I hope he didn't drop off. I have to look that up. I will look it up. Okay, so I'll wait to roll the damage then. What'd you roll? Did you hit? Uh, 23. I'm thinking oh, yeah, for sure. That hit. hits. Yep. Um, so it's either 8 or 10. Let me see. Uh, it is under. And do I get an extra D6 because he's hexed or only if I'm using? That's I'm looking. Any attack roll you make. So it's on, on a 19. We got to remember that on a 19 or 20, it's a critical, by the way. Um. Well, she got a 23. Yeah, this is about, it's, a, it's a 19 or 20. And also, let me see, Hex Warrior, I think. Is... See, she did get a 20. No. So what is it that gives you... This would be an, a natural 19 or 20 before... Yeah, a natural fire. 19 or 20. Right, but if you hover over the 23, it says it's 20 plus 4, my charisma bonus. So it is a natural so 20. Did... No, no, no. You have to roll like a 19 or 20. Oh, so only those two numbers. Yeah. Um, but I get so... the extra D6, so with the whopping one. Okay. I'm sure so... he's really rivaling in pain with his nine points of damage there. Uh, well, it is now. Well, but that was without the extra two. What extra two were you talking about? Oh, I thought you got you green. Okay, never mind. I don't think so. All right. I think it's just nine points. Okay. But he's not okay. happy. No. Uh, or she, harpies are female. Oh, Brandy, I guess we missed you. Go ahead. You can go again. Okay. Well, I'm going to... Do the short sword thing again. Okay. That is a miss. But you get your bonus action. There's too much blood on her hands. That's yeah. A hit. That's a hit. Okay. Five. Okay. Um... Bracken. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and move my Hunter's Mark to her. Okay. Since it hasn't been an hour yet. Um, and then I'll just try and shoot her. Okay. Oh, that's a trick. Nice. That's yes. very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that harpy is dead. <laughs> and the hunter's mark does even more damage, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that he's <laughs> yeah, you shoot that harpy in the throat, um, even before it cries out. All right, knuckles. I'm gonna stay in initiative for some reason. Well, because there's still people behind us. Yeah, knuckles, you're up. Can you not move past that, BJ, or you're we... stuck? You're stuck. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Oh. I moved you back. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm just going to move to the door. Okay. And it, this is where we're going, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going through there. Oh, see if the door, open. does the door open? Uh, yeah, it's open. Okay. I believe so. Wait. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is because it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's open. You can open the door. Okay. Because right, you um. Oops. And this hall is this hall is like filled with graffiti. Um, it is the stone is hall is covered in graffiti, crude paintings and phrases such as "tyrants rule" and "sirens go home" adorn the walls and ceilings. There's probably some vulgar pictures of war forged as well. This over here is like the doors to a lift. Over here. Okay. And give me what's your passive perception? Fifteen. So so over here. But you can't see because you can't see my ping. So the doors to the lift are here. Over here, uh -huh. over here, you see a peephole. Okay, I've got a few four feet of movement, so I'm going to go check out the peephole. Like, look in the peephole? Yep. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carl, are we still in combat or? Yes. Or can Tiger move forward? Uh, you're still in combat because I got to see. Okay. <laughs> I just hate the way they default with these character sheets. Um, all right. Um, all right. You see, like a uh, an eye, an eye looking back at you, and it blinks and uh, steps back. What's your initiative bonus, Amy? Your character's initiative bonus? Um, I don't know. Two. Two. All right. All right. It blinks back and you see like uh it's it's doing something. It's the eye. it's just an eye? Oh, it's a person. I mean like it it drops back and you see it's like um yeah, I'll just I'll see what you see. Can I can I see can I see anything else like yeah, yeah, a I'll... room or mm -hmm. there's a room back there. Yep. Okay. Oh, something big. Yeah. Okay. Um Tiger, you're up. No, 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 no. All right. Do you want to move up with the rest of us? Yes. Okay. So Tiger's going to move up with the rest of us. Okay. All right. Like all the way where, to where BJ's character is, or? Um, Tiger can only move 30 feet. So <laughs> probably not that far. But you can double move if you're not doing anything else. Right. So. Did, you want to Did you want to do anything else? I mean, the only other thing that you could potentially do is attack the individuals that have had not. In any way, shape, or form, been aggressive to us. I just stay at my initial. <laughs> Do you want to move forward? Technically, yeah. the harp yeah, gonna... in any way, shape, or form aggressive to us, but yeah, <laughs> uh, that that's less concerning for the urban bounty hunter than it is the <laughs> the holy person, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At least I hope. Okay. All right, Tiger's gonna move up with uh, Knuckles. Okay. All right, Harpy's dead. Brandy, what are you going to do anything? Are you going to do anything? I, I'm going to move up with Knuckles and Tiger. Okay. That's... Yeah, this is the doors to the lift. Do the I way. have any movement left? I don't think so. Well, you could double okay. move if you wanted to. Yeah. 
Uh, I think I'm going to stay there. Okay. Are you holding an action or? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and ready my weapons. And if anything attacks us, I'm going to immediately uh, try to stab them. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, this person is, is going to, the door's still there. You can just see through it. This person moves up. Um, um, you hear, does he go before me? Yes. The person moves up and um, going to stab, try to stab you in the face through the people. Uh, it's 18 hit, BJ. You're muted. <laughs> yeah, 18, 18 hits. All right. That's a big people. <laughs> yeah, he destroys the people, of course, but you know. Oh, this is like a false wall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Nine piercing. Wow. Jeez. I've been rolling like max damage on these guys for some of these guys. Okay. I think he just needs one attack. Yeah. Okay, and this thing. Question. Since I had my action ready for anything that attacks, does that I mean you don't it's not in melee, so okay. you could you could throw I say you could throw your sword at it. Okay, let's time. try doing that. Yeah, I'll probably do disadvantage since it's not normally something thrown. Sorry, Tasha. Yeah, that didn't do very much. It bounced. I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> um, yeah. It smacks into the wall, makes a bigger hole. All right. Um, Arwen, Arwen. If she figures that they have it covered. She's going to double time it and try and get all the way out to the stage coach if, or sky coach if she can. Yes, well, it's like the doors to the lift. Uh, you, we see like this sword sticking. Well, I see a sword sticking in the wall here and uh, pieces of knuckles on the ground and the sword sticking pointy end through the wall as well from here as you run past. So they don't have it handled? Uh, it's up to you. I mean, you double moves, but you could stop here and do something if you wanted to. Um, can I put a hex on him? Yeah. And then uh, do my Eldritch Blast? Sure. Um, I do not have advantage, correct? Mm. No, I know. No, you do not have an advantage. Just want to make sure I'm not supposed to check something. That is a hit, even with the cover. All right, so roll damage. And, and does then... she get the extra d6 as well? Yes. Eleven. Eleven points. All right. So that, that wall is, that false wall is now shattered. And you see that guy kind of staggers back a little bit backwards. Um, some A shifter there. Uh, there is no rider on this warg. I don't know why they use this as a default, but it is a, a big warg um, behind him. All right, uh, Bracken. Uh, I'm going to move up to where I can. Mm -hmm. I can I see him? Yeah, you can see this guy. You can see him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll just uh, I'll move hunter's mark to him, mm -hmm. and then I'll try and shoot him. Okay. That is a hit. 
Ouch. He's not having a good day. No, he's he's having a dead day. <laughs> yeah. Knuckles actually All right, Knuckles. The way is clear for this guy to stab you in, or trying to stab you in the face. I guess the warg is. The warg is. You, you're muted again. There we go. The did warg, my? You said the warg is what? Did uh? Did um? Your screen has a out. Yet. Yeah. It did something weird. We just see names and stuff. Okay, let me reset it. It's pretty clear. I was just say it's pretty clear that the warg is like it, uh, an enemy. Yeah. You don't think it can be tamed? Why are you? All right, I'll recenter you. All right. You put me back up on the. Yeah, I got you. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, yep. it also it also closed my character sheet. Hold on a second. Of course. <laughs> so, are wards usually mean, or are they just like a mount? But you both, they're in intelligent evil wolves. Is this something I can charm and get it on our side? Um, click on charm. I have to pull it up. What is going on there, BJ? I don't know. Do you want me to share my screen? Yeah, why don't we do that? You want to pause quickly, Carl? All right. Yeah, so Knuckles, you can assume that. I'm waiting for it to reset so I can use my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Apologies for the technical difficulties. So, but yeah, just to answer your question, Amy, uh, uh, Amy had asked if she could charm the warg, but she has a charm person spell, and the warg not being humanoid, it's a monster. So, uh, he probably is not powerful enough to do that. Okay. You ready, BJ? Uh, give me just a second here. Does Tiger want to do anything while the war forge is oiling up? We're we're gonna hold until Knuckles gets to have his turn. So we'll, she's gonna wait. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. I will attack him. Okay. That seem. Looks like it would be a hit. Yes. Yay. Oh, sorry. Ignore that second roll. Uh, but then I will do, I'm going to go ahead and spend a key point to do two unarmed attacks. The so Floria blows. Yeah, Floria blows. Um, that is a hit. That is a mess. Okay. Trip Six over times the damage. You trip on something on that second attack. Making yourself vulnerable. But you hit that word pretty good. All right, Tiger. Just tell them that. I'm going to cast sleep. 
What was that? She's going to cast sleep. Okay. Can you click on it and see what it? Yep. Give it one second. I have to get over to that. Over. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So save DC. I don't think they. I don't think they get a save. Yeah. No, there's no save. There's no save. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So it's rolling the five D eight now. Yep. Yep. And yep. it is Knuckles um, immune to sleep. Well, what she can do is she can make the point because it's a twenty foot from a point she chooses. Yeah. So she can like it's like right here, so it misses Knuckles. Yeah, just on the other side of the work thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. If I fall asleep, you can just shake me awake. So, yeah. <laughs> but I think Morphorges don't sleep, but I think they're not immune to magical sleep. Okay. All right. I, I thought there was like a sleep thing in here. But like a z, but maybe not. All right. Archery target. I, no, well, it, I am immune. I am immune to magical sleep. Oh, nice. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That's actually a great tactic then. To send yeah, the warforged in, send the warforged in, and sleep them. Okay, so it falls asleep. Nice. Yeah. yeah Arlene totally totally wants to tap her wrist at Brandy really quickly. <laughs> I can't get too terribly distracted, young lady. Well, with it being asleep, we now combat for this is over. We can move on. There's there's nothing more for us. So well, long as nobody there's tapped. a door there's a door over here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So we can get out do of the combat. Both, do they both go to the same place? Uh I you don't know. This is like to the left. You don't know where this door is. So it's up to you if you want to investigate or check out this room real quick or just uh keep going. Okay, because Arwen seems very insistent upon going to the lift, so that's fine. She can head there. I'm going to head into the room and go to the other door. Okay. Yeah, I want to poke around in this room and see if we find anything. Right. Are you going to... You can't go through the doors. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lift. You probably have to wait for the elevator. Yeah. So you can, you can press the button for the lift to come up. If She's just going to keep pressing I the think... button. You know how, like, when you go to the elevator yeah. and you're late for an appointment? Okay. Um, right. So I don't know. You you can I guess someone can you can finish off the warg if you want to, or just uh, just leave it asleep. It'll be asleep for a minute. Um, um, that should be enough time for you guys to get out of there. Yeah. yeah, it should be fine. Be able to look around and then move on. Yeah, but it it falls unconscious and it stays like that. Yes, it's a wild animal, and then there's people here and here. Well, those people like ran away. I mean, these are they <laughs> huddled? They huddled in fear, you know. As you guys, you know, killed that poor harpy that was looking out to try to kill you. All right. Uh, yeah. So in here, in here, you see, uh, there's someone lying here. Um, and it is a uh, a groaning halfling is tied to a wooden chair in the center of the room. His shirt is stained with blood and sweat, and his head is covered in a canvas bag. Okay, um, I say we kind of rescue him. <laughs> so this might be a job for Knuckles and Tiger, like with the the healing portion of this. Well, can you just grab him and run? We can heal him in the lift. Is Our the one's lift just pressing the button, waiting for everyone. Yeah, but the lift isn't even there, and well, there's nothing of use in here. But it'll it'll get there. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could roll. How long does it take? Okay. Because I missed the first half of this uh, 
little segment of the adventure. Why did we come down here? So Gar, you, you were told that Gara, the half ogre who's behind all this, these machinations, uh -huh. um, is, well, one lived in the penthouse that you guys already raided and rescued uh, Sergeant Vilroy. Okay. And then you found that you found out that that Gara, she's she's a half ogre. She's gonna take uh, the lightning rail out of out of Sharn, and she has like okay. a stack a stack of books and three three scroll to, cases with her. We're trying to catch up with her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And these Dosk have left um, traps and people along the way just to hinder you. Apparently. Okay. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll pull the sack off of the halflings. All right, because because yeah. I'll kill you. I'll kill you all. You do not know who you're messing with. The Doubtful. Bormor, the Bormor very clan, small. He says, the Bormor clan will have its revenge in between your, like, you know. He's like, so he looks, he looks at you. You're not Dosk. Well, you might. Yeah, you're not. He looks at the both of you. You're not Dosk. No. <laughs> uh, well. All right, well. Did you want to? He's definitely injured. Yeah, He's been yeah. beat up. Did you want to do a medicine check or do you want to go with any suggestion of just having somebody grab him and go to the lift and deal with him in the lift? Well, we can do that as long as we don't wake that ugly thing up that looks like a slug. I'll pick, I'll pick him up. And... All right. Yeah. Well, he's tied up, so he, you know, he can't really do much. I him over my shoulder. Okay. Yeah. All right. So by the time you said so you kill the uh, the creature or just said, sleeping in a rogue one where, where he says you are being rescued please do not resist oh yeah congratulations <laughs> being rescued okay I just, I, now I just figured out what Knuckles' personality is he's K two S O from Rogue, rogue there one. you go okay um so what do you want to do with the ward he's asleep let him be. Don't waste time on him. That's why they left him. He wants him dead. Bracken's killing him. Okay. If you tag it and you do not officially kill it, you wake Bracken's it back up, kill. and then we're all going to be back in this fight again. No, you could CDG it. Okay. I mean, it's un it's unconscious. So, you, you know. What's your max damage? My max damage, I mean, I can put Hunter's Mark on it. Yeah. So it'd be D8 plus 4 plus a D6. So max yeah, it, damage. Would it's be dead. Eight. It's dead. Eight, attacking a helpless, I think attacking an unconscious victim is also considered a crit automatically. Yeah. Right. So he's dead. Okay. All right. Okay. So the, you get to the, the, you get there to get to the lift. Well, they have to head. double time it up there. Yeah. <laughs> Although, if anybody's handing out healing spells, I could probably use one. If we're yeah, as you're going down, as you're going down the lift, someone can give you a healing spell um, if you wanted to. That's fine. But I'm gonna I'm gonna throw everyone in the lift, and um, anybody want to question this halfling while I've got him slung yeah. over my shoulder? Um, I mean, Arwen doesn't care much about him at the moment. She figures that she's highly focused and figures that Brandy could probably, you know, smack a little sense into him if he has any left. All right. Yeah, so you, uh, you untie the guy? Not until he calms down. Yeah, I... Now, she would only have one special. Yeah. So, I think for me, I'm going to leave him tied up and try to get information from him first. Okay. So, I'll I'll give him the option of if you can provide us information that and prove that you are not a threat. Afterwards, we will untie you. Um, he says, because I have no idea why Dusk abducted me. Please free me. Did he say uh, he was part of which which one of the houses or one of the clan? <laughs> Was in direct conflict to what you said in the room, which was that a specific clan was going to have its revenge. So I kind of feel like you do know. Um, he's like, he goes, 
well, I was just speaking because, you know, I was scared. You guys are scary. Can you please not pee on my friend Knuckles? I don't need him rusted. You know what? He, he's but definitely he's definitely lying, but so you could, yeah, if you press lying. him, if you press him, he does goes, okay, okay, I'm from the Boromore clan. Let me go and you will be well rewarded. I prefer to take the reward and information now. I don't have anything. Look, they, they abducted me. You you so you so you know absolutely nothing that would be of any valuable information for us. There's no reason to keep you alive. Yeah, there, then there's no real reason to keep you alive, then, if you know nothing. So you're going to just murder a Boromore clan operative <laughs> just because? I am giving him the option to decide what he wants to I'm do. I'm just saying what you want to do. <laughs> Boromore clan is basically the mafia. Yeah, they're halfling mafia. I don't, I don't think we want to... Yeah. He goes, look, I'm connected to Boromore. It would mean a lot to my family. You might know how powerful they are if you freed me. I cannot give you anything now. Look, they beat me up. They captured me and beat me up. What is your name? Uh, I'll set him down. All right. Because I am Corin Del, Del Maco. You're going to kill Knuckles. Yes. Right. Corin Del Maco. Yeah. Oh, I'm a, uh, I should have that as my, uh, don't I have a, I don't think we ever established for me, but part of my background is I should have some kind of criminal contact. Oh, yes, yeah. both uh, Bracken and Brandy. So. Yeah. Well, uh, clearly, clearly, you guys are at, at odds with Dosk because you've been killing them left and right. So. <laughs> Just cleaning well, up. Arwen's going to suggest why do we not kill this guy? We'll find Jermaine. Obviously, he's easy enough for Knuckles to tote around. Just strap him to your back. We'll deal with him later. Then no one's dead. The information's still with us, and we can keep going. I think he's probably good for his word. Yeah, I, Bormore's pretty. I mean, they're ruthless, but they're pretty. Uh, you know, it's like the Godfather. Yeah, they're. I guess it would be like in in part in a D and D parlance, they're um they're lawful, right? So. I'll take my short sword and undo his bindings. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you find yourself down here now at the down near the lightning rail station. Uh, On the we, ticket, did we see which train track we needed to go to? There's only one train track. Okay. Then that makes that pretty darn easy. Yep. Okay. Uh, right. Let me know. So there's like a, just to let you know, there's a countdown starting now. So um, let me, I wonder if we should keep initiative. I wonder if we should keep initiative until people. Um, Pretty certain Brandy and Arween like theirs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should keep initiative just to keep the tracker, you know, a tracker. Yeah. Uh, Knuckles, how many hit? Tiger wants to know how many hit points you currently have. Because it's not showing it on my side. Because uh, Knuckles has 12 out of 21. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, are you seeing if uh, Tiger could have done some healing while we were in the list? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So if you wanted to heal while you're going down on the lift. I, I cure wounds? Yeah. Okay. You're going to cure wounds? Yes. Okay, we're going to cure wounds. And would Arween have gotten her hit dice back from the last game? No. No, it hasn't been like a, you haven't kind of taken the time to do a short rest yet. Okay. All right, let me know when you're ready. Someone cast a, a did I get a heated? Did I get a it's not word or something? Going through for some reason. Hold on. It's just not doing I anything. saw like someone typing and then it kind of stopped. There you go, finally. Uh so one D eight. So roll a D eight plus um 
I guess, wisdom. So D8 plus four, right? Okay. Unless you want to cast it at second level. No. Okay. She doesn't have any second levels yet. Oh, beautiful. 12 points back. Who needs second level, right? Yep. All right, you're fully healed then, BJ. Thank you. All right, all right, Brad, Brandy, the lift opens. What do you want to do? I got to go out of the lift, otherwise nobody, otherwise we're not going to really see. So let's head on out and see what happens. Yeah. So yeah, the uh, the train, you know, trains this way, and it says, um, "Last call." You hear over the radio, "Last call, last call for." The high noon train to rote. I would like to double move and run. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. So how you can um. So where were you? you could have Just been, in the lift. Yeah. So you could have been like right here, ready yeah. to go. So however you know, if you want to go sixty, you can like that way. Okay. I think we can only go forty-five as well. Well, yours is 30, and then dash doubles it. Yeah. Yeah. Nine, ten. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you get to there. Um, all right. So the sound. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Arween. I'll let you go too. Oh, yeah. She's double time in it. She can go 60, right? Yeah. As well. She's right there, too. All right. Um, Are you a barbarian? Me? Yes. Did your movement go up yet at second level? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Uh, Bracken. Uh, the guy's still with us, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's still with you, but, I mean, he's untied, and he's probably going to head back up the lift, likely. Would we know, like, where to find them after this? Oh, uh, I'm sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, he says, he says, look for me at the, and he gives you the name of a, a bar, or a nightclub, actually. There's a nightclub. He gives you the name of the, the a nightclub. I'm gonna run. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna run over here and then see if I see anybody uh, that doesn't look like they should be here, or you know, maybe it's like staking out or something along those lines. Uh, I get roll, roll intuition. Uh, so insight, insight, yeah, it's intuition and Warhammer Fantasy, which I played two days ago. All right, um, I will, I will show you the names. Twenty two is really good, so I'll show you the name, the people who look sus. I'll put a red dot on them. That guy does. Um, this guy does. This guy. Um, I'll put him oh, this guy here. They look like they're like waiting, like looking at. Uh, they see. They kind of look at Arwen and Brandy, and they, and you as you kind of come running down. Um, yeah, you okay. can see those. Yeah. Okay. On this action. What's that? I'm going to put hundreds uh, for my bonus action. Uh huh. Hunter. Hunter's mark on that guy. Okay. So it hasn't been enough. All right. Um, Knuckles. BJ, I think you're probably muted again. Sorry. All right, so I'm going to dice. Countdown dice. All right. Move to there, and if I don't see anything, 
Is this door open over here? Um, which one? This one. Over here? Yeah. Um, no, you can see a window. It looks like a, a like a bodega. I'm gonna look in there. Okay. Yeah, you see like a like a canku here in the corner. Uh, just like just like the proprietor, the proprietor of this little kiosk area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think I can get to right out right there. Okay. The double with another move. Okay. Nobody looks like a. I'm gonna scan around and see if I. There's no half ogres here. Uh, no half ogres. Give me. Uh, you can attempt perception. Perception. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, beautiful. I, I, you see, like, like there's like on all along this train here. Right, it's all along this train. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't scanned down. Yeah, all Perhaps along this, scroll down where I could see. Yeah, all along this train, you see like blue arcs of lightning and all this kind of stuff happening. Um, you kind of look in a wind in the in like a one of these windows, a bunch of windows on this train, and you see um, um yeah, let's see. You see like this large ogre. Is the train moving? No. You see this large ogre female looking like looking out the window. Um might as well bring the, that up now. So I would just yell at everybody. She is on the train. Okay. There. Uh, let me make sure the stupid thing is ready to go. Yep. All right. Um, I had a handout of her. There. Is there like an emergency switch on the train track that won't let a train leave? Probably, but not that you could control because you're not a member. There's, there's what she looks like. Oh, she's lovely. All right. All right. So you just got to see her there. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if she, oh, I was going to roll to see if she saw you. Because it's not like you're, you know. That's bizarre. Okay. Uh, she kind of sees you and backs away from the window. Uh, knuckles. And you, I know you were asking, I didn't ignore the question. Is there an emergency switch to pull that stop? Yes, there probably is. But if uh, you have to probably be like a house Orion person to do that, you wouldn't have the authority. No, I was thinking about sending my mage hand to do it. Uh, it's probably like, so this is, um, I don't know. It's probably like kind of far away though. Like this is a, a first class car. This is like the the dining car. So the the head that for off the map here would be like the uh, the control car. So you'd have to like jump on the top of the train and make your way across, likely to the mm -hmm. front to the front of the train. That's okay. Okay, Thank uh, you. Tiger. I just kind of right. Yes. I'm going to move up there with you. And Tiger's, gonna, Tiger's just going to move as far as she can. I'll be like, there. I can do 30. 
turn my attack and save. Oh, yeah. So Tiger's gonna move up as close as she can to the train. Okay. Okay. I think that's the tiger's turn. Yep. Uh, of course. All right. One more thing I got to do. Nope. Wrong one. All right, Brandy, you're up. All right, I am going to move to get onto the train. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go right between the cars. Yeah, that's fine. So you're gonna try to go in through here. Yeah. Assuming there's a door there. Okay. Yeah. Would you want to double move to try and go through the actual car? Yeah. So I'm gonna double move just to try to get into the car. So. All right. Like this. There's there's a conductor here, with the house Orion livery says, "You stop, stop, tickets, tickets, please, tickets, please." Do we have? Oh, God. Oh, Arwen has the thing still, right? It says that we're under our orders. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I'm going to hold there until Arwen gets up there so that, because she has the badge. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm just going to okay. tell him, like, we're, we're, uh, we're under orders. Okay, so you yeah. can, Arwen, you present your, so give me a, with advantage, give me a persuasion check. But and then Brandy, you could you probably can keep going anyway, as it because our our ween's distracting, even if the yeah. you could keep continue your move if you wanted to. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let me hold on a second. Yeah. So this is like you're like in the hallway. All right. Assume it goes like mm -hmm. like little door in the hallway, and there's a bunch of of doors that lead to passenger rooms. Right, you're here. Can can Arween continue her movement? So you no this you're uh no you have to stop and so you have to stay this is like the hallway, Cindy. Okay. So you have to unless you want to duck you duck into a room. Yeah, let, let's try to duck into a room. Yeah. Whatever's close enough. Okay. So this is like these rooms are like. But these are like walls and stuff in here. Okay, perfect. Uh, but you don't see the you don't see the ogre. That's okay. That means she can't see me either. Okay, that's cool. All right. Um, so she she moved, but she still gets an action, right? Who are we? No, her action was to pull out the writ and convince this person to let everyone buy. Because I was hoping to cast charm on him. On the conductor. Yes, because then he'll do what I want. Oh, you don't. I don't think it was necessary. I thought you persuaded you them. You just persuaded them. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're like, oh, 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 what, what is going on? Do we need it, to stop? Do we need to stop the train? Yes, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> we need to stop right now because there's very special people still getting on the train and they're delayed because there was a little habacle at the station earlier. I don't think it'll be an inconvenience to stop for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Ah, okay. Well, so the conductor kind of goes back to like a little station over here or something. And is like radio, radio, radioing, probably using one of those like, you know, brass like phones that you see on old, old uh, Navy ships. I think they still have them actually. And it's like calling on the horn to the conductor. Uh, they go, my lord, uh, Herrick, uh, my lord, um, 
I guess, chief engineer. It looks like we might have to delay the train. Uh, there is uh, the watches here. They are making inquiries. Yeah, so they start talking. All right. Um, all right. So she's, so Gara sticks her head out. and looks around. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, that one's dead. Okay. This um, would be a wonderful time for our viewers Bracken. to comment down below what they would do. Bracken. So the, the, the shady people haven't done anything yet, right? Like they haven't like tried to attack us? No. And they're like looking at you, you know, they're like reaching into their cloaks or whatever to try to draw out weapons or, or something. Okay. Um, the guy I have Hunter's mark on, I'm just going to go ahead and shoot. Okay. That guy. Um, I'm assuming that hits. Um, yes, that's a hit. For six damage against that guy. And then... And your hunter's mark damage too, right? Yeah. Four. All right. So as I do, after I do that, I'm going to move towards the train. Okay. I figured he's probably he's probably pretty much gone. Um, and then is there anywhere I could hide? Well, I guess I can do that later. So that that'll be that'll be my turn. Okay. Um. Well, this guy's like shocked by the attack. Um, Did you just skip me. Did we? Are you yep. 14? Are you 14? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, BJ. Okay, I'm just going to move on to the train. Like like up here, over here. Um, I'm just coming in by. Oh, is there another? Yeah, oh. there's in between each, right? Oh. Well, I'll come the other. I'll come the other direction then. Let me start over. Well, now wait a minute. I, nope. I'm gonna just stick with everybody else. I'm not gonna get out on my own and get squished. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm learning not to run ahead of everybody else, so I'll just come up here near Brandy and. Okay. All right. But when I see Gara looking out the window, I will say, you are wanted by the watch. Surrender now. Okay. Oh, I skipped. Oh, no, I didn't skip Gara. Okay. Uh, these guys go here. Um, my, this guy's going to. Go over to here. I don't know why it keeps closing these character sheets on me.
Um, so this guy pulls out a light crossbow and takes a shot at Arween. Not very nice. Nope. Uh, that's a hit. I don't see your roll. Oh, man. <sighs> it's very frustrating that it does that every single what time. What is your roll? A 19. A 19 is my is uh your ac my ac is 18 so 19 yep. hits. all right so two points of damage all right um this guy's gonna run away because he got messed up um this one here is gonna try to sneak up behind tiger and attack you know get a like a growth around the poor tabaxi. Um, so Tiger, what's your um, passive perception? We are checking right now. Is it better than 18? Let me see. We're, we're trying to get to it. It's 16. No. Okay. All right, so the guy sneaks up. Uh, so a 19, does a 19 AC hit you? Uh, yes. All right. All right, so Tiger. Tiger takes nine points of damage and is grappled. Okay. Okay, so question for Tiger. Considering she's grappled, is she still able to cast cantrips? Yeah, she could still okay. do that. Um, it, is Tiger, it is Tiger's turn. Oh, no, uh, the other guys. Um, so this guy's going to try to leap onto the top. Be interesting if she fails as athletic and falls down. Yeah, we'll be see what happens. Um, he doesn't fail it by he, he's kind of trying to grab and find something to leap on top of, but it's not successful. But I don't flub it enough that he. And then let's go here. Apparently, is another bad guy. Um, I guess he's also going to try to take a shot at Arween. Are we, uh, are she's she's in between the train cars. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, he misses. And then this guy's going to come up here. and run into the conductor. And the conductor is going to go, tickets, please. And then I guess Knuckles, he say, that one's with me. And then to respond to your character, Knuckles, he says, uh, uh, she says, I don't know what she says yet. emails a roach. She goes, look, look, we can deal, she says. She goes, she has, she pulls a bag from her, um, at her side, and she says, a uh, hundred gold if you leave me alone and let me go. Brandy, it's your turn. I think we skipped Tiger. No, oh yeah, we did skip Tiger. Shoot, yeah. sorry. Yeah. That's okay. No, Tiger, go. Yeah, I was doing all the bandit stuff. So tiger that's okay. uh, Tiger's going to cast Sacred Flame on okay. the guy that's currently holding her. Okay. So just a saving throw, right? Yeah. One point of damage. 
But she can still move, right? No, uh, she's, she's she could try to get out of the grapple. Yeah. Um, so he does take one point of damage. So you she can to... you can roll you can do uh, athletics or acrobatics to try to get out of the grapple. Okay. So is athletics or which one? Or acrobatics. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna try athletics. All right, no problem. She's able to get out. Okay. What? Okay. Oh, wait, what? There we go. Back to normal then. Okay. And if you can, that's fine. Okay. Um, now Brandy's turn. All right. I'm. I'm gonna try to get up closer to Gara. Okay. I think unfortunately at this point in time she knows that we're we're going after her. Yeah. So All right. okay, you need to move me. How far up can I go? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try throwing a javelin. Okay. Um yeah. actually I take that back. I'm gonna use the light crossbow. Why is it doing that now? What is it doing? Uh, it gave me, it was doing advantage, and I don't know why. So, yeah, <laughs> let's say, let's um, without the advantage. Yeah, it's the first, it's the first one anyway, right? Yeah. yeah, so as you kind of move past there, something stabs you. Oh. Um. So you're, we'll see what happens. We'll have to resolve this first. You'll keep, you can keep that roll. Okay. Um, and... You see this thing, this thing appear from invisible. What is it? Pixie. Oh, the pixie. Oh, oh it crit you. Oh. oh. Uh, so you you take you take uh, a whole two points of damage, but you need to make a um, save saving throw versus poison, so a con save. Okay, so Constitution. Yeah. It, does, uh, it only does two points of damage. Oh. Mm. All right, so you're poisoned. Okay. How Do I click anything for that? Like, where, where would that even go on rule 20? Or do I just keep that in mind? Um, I don't... Let me see if there's... Condition. And it, there's under condition. Where is that? <laughs> no condition. Where is that? Uh, you have a disadvantage on all attack rolls and ability checks. Okay. And you're feeling like numb and woozy, like sleepy, it's... woozy. Okay. We're on the Sheeta's conditions. I don't um, think they're on here. I think you just have to. Yeah. Know. There's no. Yeah. You, you're at a you're at disadvantage. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, you fire your crossbow and you wrote, got an 18, right? Without it, you're poisoned. Don't you have disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, 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 so it's like, it's, like, it's like a fifteen. It's a fifteen. Okay. Um. So we'll see what that what that does. And of course, it keeps closing my character sheets. So fifteen. Fifteen is still a hit. Okay. All points of damage. It's like max damage. Wow, nice. All right. Okay. Uh, is that it? That's it, right? Yeah, I think that's all that I can do. All right, Arween. Going to put a hex on her. Okay. And actually move into the car. Um, yeah. I think it's been past a minute. Yeah, she can't put a hex. What do you mean? 
your hex you can only use once per short rest and it only lasts a minute you used it up used it upstairs oh it's been long enough it's fine you got a short rest then yeah i guess we got a short rest okay. oh sweet <laughs> yep. yeah yeah the lift is slow yeah and then one of those slow freight elevators All right yeah and then she's going to eldridge blast gara mm -hmm. yep that's a miss i'm not surprised okay she just i guess gara's like no gold then she ducks into here um Can Arwen shout over her shoulder to this guy, the conductor guy that says, you know, in two minutes start up? Because I'm assuming that Tiger will be on by then. Yeah. Okay. You can say that. It's fine. You just have to book it, Tiger. <laughs> between a between a tabaxi, a barbarian, and a monk, we should be pretty fast moving before too long. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Um, okay. So it is now that was her. You hear like a smashing of glass and all that kind of stuff, by the way. Oh. Um, in, from inside the room. Way. Um, okay. Bracken, it's your turn. Uh, I'm just going to run and attack the pixie. Okay. Sword. All right. Trying to get rid of that fence. Or sorry, my right hand. That is probably a hit. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And then I want to use my ability. Um, so I'll take the disengage action. Okay. Again, and then just try to go like, let's see, it's out here, five, ten. Right there. Okay. All right. So you damage that sprite or whatever a little bit. Okay. Knuckles. I'm going to poke my head around here and see if she's trying to get out of the crawl up the window because I heard yeah. the glass smash. Yeah, she like the big hand is like there. She's like gonna try to climb on top of the on top of the rail. On top of the, the train. On top of the car. Can I scramble up to the top of the car then? Yep. Actually before I use the rest of my movement. Can I can I see her leaning out the window or is it just her hand? She hasn't she's not quite leaning out the window. She like smashed it this round and probably gonna climb up next round. Okay, yeah. So where you were here, right? Yeah. Five, so five, 10, 15. So probably like 10 more feet to scramble up. So okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what, 25? Yeah. 30, 35, 40. If I take a double move. Yeah, it's not, I don't think the train is moving, so I don't think. It's Actually, moving. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold hold there, and I'm gonna ready an action. If she climbs up, I'm gonna throw a dart at her. Okay. Right. It's not moving yet because she got the thing to stop. Okay. Um, 
these creep these bandits. Did you see my question? Um, can my mage hand? Not probably not. Who are you trying to impede? Gara from getting out of the window. Nah, it's not strong enough to do that. Okay. Uh, this guy's gonna come at at you. Not very nice. No. Nope. Can I turn around and, and defend? Yeah, yeah. It's not. A, I mean, it's not a problem. I mean, you don't have to. It's pa defense is like passive. So, where are these? How guys? do I do that? Oh, don't. I mean, I just roll to attack and hit or not. That's a miss. Yes. Okay. All right. Can you? Yeah. Um. These other guys. Uh, I guess this guy's gonna. Oh wow! These guys are gonna. Tiger needs to get out of there. Yeah. Uh, maybe this guy's gonna. Yeah. All right. That's a miss. This guy's going to try to cut Tiger off here. And he misses. He, well, he misses. Wow. Okay. Good. Um, I think that's it. Oh, that last guy's going to try to climb up on the on the side. Then with the climbing. He is fails. Okay. This guy is just like, I can't get up. And here, I think this guy's gonna run the conductor through. He oh, wanna... cool. Or try to. Oh yeah. All right. So he kills the conductor. All right. That is so not nice. It's not acceptable. What was that halfling's name again? Um, Corin. Corin, Demonico. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, before Tiger goes, this like uh, Noel, who is like probably like begging in the corner, comes crashing out. Uh, past these guys, pushed past the civilian, and smacks into this bandit. He goes down with Dusk. This one. Um, I think that's a hit. Yeah, it's a hit. Okay. All right. He cuts him down. Tiger Savior from the corner. Yeah. Okay. No kidding. All right. Should be Tiger's turn now. Yeah, it's Tiger's turn. Yeah, so Tiger is going to use the disengage action and try to get to the train. Okay. So one, two, three. Yeah, she can get to like here, I guess, right? As long as she gets onto the train and out of that fray. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Brandy, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm still poisoned currently. Right. Yes. But I, I would like to try and attack the pixie with the two short swords. Okay. I'm very annoyed at that little thing. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and rage. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to... I think that gives you advantage to con saves, too. I think so, yeah. yeah. That's good. At the end of the round, you have to make another con save. Oh, good. <laughs> well, it could be good and bad, but it's at least it's a... All right, that's a hit either way. Why is it... I clicked disadvantage. 
Seventeen. Yeah, it's a seventeen. Oh, no, it's yeah, the other way. All right. Okay. And then for the other one, its advantage is highlighted. So it should... uh, that might still be a hit. Uh, that is, no, it's a miss. Okay. <laughs> okay. And uh, roll a con save at advantage. Okay. At advantage? Yeah, because you're raging. Just making sure I'm clicking the right thing. Or would it would it cancel it out? Yeah, uh, that was my question. No. No. Because she has disadvantage on checks, right? For saves. Uh, for being poisoned. Yeah. yeah. So it's like saves and. Um, Is it saves also? Uh, I don't know. I thought, a, a, a attack rolls and ability checks, so not saves. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Cool. So advantage. Save is an ability check. No, it is. Okay. But so is, cancels, it it base, is it strength and con or just strength for a barbarian? I thought it was strength and con, but okay. Okay, okay so it's normal then. Okay. Yes, it's normal. Okay. All right. I think Anytime that's... you roll a d20 in a, in five e, it's considered an ability check, unless it's a all right death save. I think is the right. only one. All you right. shake off. You shake off the poison. Good. <laughs> okay. All right. Arween. So she can get to here, I think. Can she see Gara? Yeah, that creature is going to, the sprite's going to attack you. That's you can't, fine. Uh, you can't see Gara. I guess this door, this door is open now, but. Okay, so then that's probably not the best place for her to go. Can she see Gara if she gets out here? Yeah, yes. Okay, then that's where she'll go. Oh, but the, you have to go through the bandit. You can we can make an athletic uh, acrobatics check to go through the bandit or go past the bandit, get past the bandit. But I think they're gonna they're still gonna attack you. But so it's like probably that. better to go by the sprite then. Yeah, it's up to you. You can use the disengage action to move without getting attacked, but then you don't get to do anything else. But then you move. get to yeah, you don't get to do anything else. I'm less worried about the sprite than I am. Dumbledore here. Yeah. He's going to get... All right. Well, you can disengage and then move this 30 feet here anyway, and then you won't get attacked if you want to do that. No, because I wanted to cast Glaring Spell at this one. Oh, okay. But you won't be able to do it this round anyway, unless you like go through this guy, I guess. Yeah, so try to go yeah. get past this guy. Isn't it easier to get past this one? You get attacked by both. Yeah, you get attacked by both anyway. So either disengage or or risk the attacks. I'll risk the attack over to here. All right. You can actually go around 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. That's 30. Okay. So they're going to both attack you as you do that. Because you can move around. They... You don't have to go. Huh? Why would the sprite be able to attack me when I was standing next to this one? Because you're leaving its threatened area. Hmm. I thought Brandy knocked it down some. No, it the sprite misses and now it's like vulnerable. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hit it once, but I didn't kill it. So yeah. okay. So, so that missed. was her attack. And then the the, the guy, the bandit. Can't find the boot. I'll just use this. And the, the bandit is going to attack. And of course. The bandit misses also. Okay. Good. So she would like to cast glare. I will pull up the spell. Hold on a moment. Just click on it or click on the. I, am, I have to go to the next page to get to it. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Amy, just as a reminder, if you do that, it's going to get rid of your hex. Yeah. I couldn't, I mean, it doesn't matter, I think, at this line of duty. It's just, it's either glare at her, and then she has to make a wisdom saving throw. And if she doesn't do it, if she doesn't make it, she can't take any actions, which means she can't okay. climb out the window. Sure. Okay. All right, so uh, wisdom save. Wisdom save. Okay. And it says DC 14. Yep. She makes it. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, she climbs up. Can I do my ready to action then? Yep. That's a hit. Six. All right. Um, hmm. She's going to throw a javelin back at you then, I guess. That's a miss. All right. Bracken. Um, she's now on top of the train. So I wouldn't be able to hit her. Uh, the sprite, the sprite is like trying to smack Arwen, Arwen, but it's kind of got, you know, rebuffed and smacked up against the, the kind of or disoriented. It's kind of smacked up against the roof. So you could you would attack at advantage against the sprite right now. All right, all right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll kill the sprite or try to at least. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's a hit. All right, the sprite is no more. Cool. And then I'm going to use my movement to just chase for one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is a door right here right, to the room. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And then is there any place around that can hide? Not really. I mean, this is like just an open hallway. Okay. Like in the room, there's places to hide, but. If I didn't reach it, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This there's this guy here too. All right. All right, Knuckles. So she's up on the thing now. Yep. She hurled a javelin at you and missed badly. I'm go for broke. Okay. That is a hit. <laughs> wow. Uh, and I will spend a key point to do Feral Flurry of Blows. First unarmed attack. I think, I think that's a hit. That is a hit. Second unarmed attack is also a hit. So I did 15 altogether that round. Yep. Okay. Wow. It would be wise for you to surrender. And that's it for me. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was you. These bad guys. All right. This guy's going to move forward to engage Bracken.
that's a miss. He's now also vulnerable. These guys are they're trying to fight in these confined spaces and they're getting all messed up. Okay. Um, this guy here is going after Tiger, I guess, trying to chase Arween. Doesn't want to mess with the big bugbear. That's a miss. Um, these guys are fighting here. You hear like the whistles of the, you know, the the guard and stuff like that. This guy's gonna try to take off. Um, okay. Tiger. Tiger's turn. We cast also, my channel divinity. Okay. Hold on. We need to put that in there. Yeah, what does it do? Once again, about that one. This one, here we go. Twilight Sanctuary. Oh, the Sanctuary one? Okay. Yeah. As soon as we can figure out how to get it in the chat. There we go. So Arwen and you can both get yeah. so, D6 plus the call. Yeah, roll a D6 plus... Um... Plus two, plus two, I guess. Yeah, D6 yeah. plus two. The holy smack off the train. Hopefully. All right, so you, Ar Arween and Tiger have five temporary hit points. Yeah. Who else is within 30 feet? Uh, uh, Brandy might be. Yeah. Brandy is, yeah. So you is Knuckles by any chance? Yeah. No. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. If I'm up here with me, though. <laughs> yeah. Because the bubble moves. Yeah, because the the bubble moves with Tiger. So as she moves, you'll you'll get more. That'd probably be about all she could do. Okay. The guys right there, and the chance to do a Yeah, and Tiger's just gonna stay there. Did you get her for temporary hit points? Yes, I just gave her the temporary hit points. like a bubble, right? You said? Yeah. Yes. yes. 30 feet. Uh, the sphere. So it should go up and onto the roof mm -hmm. if she does get close enough over as well. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Brandy's at the very edge. Uh, I guess your ally, if you think that, no, if you feel like that Noel is an ally, he gets it too. One, two, three, four. Yep. That knoll. Okay. Cool. Something like that. Yeah, we're gonna give it to the knoll that like, like okay. not to do it off for, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh Brandy. Um I'm gonna move up to the guy that's next to Tiger and I'm gonna try to hit him with the two torch first. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try for flanking. I just want to make sure that I took it off of disadvantage and over to normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is a hit. Okay. And would this be considered flanking? And if so, how would I do that as well? Yeah. It'd be advantage. Advantage? Okay. Now, would that advantage continue to the second attack or yeah. no, because it's okay. I just didn't want to click it if I'm not supposed to. Um, that's a hit. I'm glad I had that. <laughs> and he goes down. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, Arween. Gonna climb up here. Does she have to make athletics? Nah, because there's like a ladder there. Okay. Then she can get five, 10, 15 to there. 
Okay, she yeah, just doesn't one, want to One, two, leave three, that. four, five. She can get to here. She doesn't want to leave the bubble of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> and can she recast her hex on here? Or no. she can only do the glare again, right? She could do the, well, I think you could do the glare or you could just do Eldritch Blast. It'll I'll still blast. it'll still do damage, right? <laughs> That's, we'll see. That is a miss. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Gara is going to try to destroy this um, Warforge in front of her. Warforge could be go between her legs. She's tall enough. She wouldn't say that's it. a hit. Ten points of damage. Oh. Uh. She fortunately it only gets one attack. She only gets one attack. She's like uh yeah, she has like a the backpack over one shoulder and is attacking you with the uh, you know. She got like a military, like a military bandolier, a pack mm -hmm. of stuff, and she strikes at you overhand, chop with a battle axe. Okay. But that's it, just one attack. All right, Bracken. Um, if I entered the room, and could I climb through the window and get to her with the night movement? Within thirty feet. Yeah, you could. You could probably climb. You'd have to. You have to actually make a, a athletics or acrobatics check to climb, but because it's not a ladder. Ladder. But yeah, okay. be, um, you could you could if you you have to get past this guy too, so that'd be acrobatics or athletics, but at advantage because he's disoriented. He's like vulnerable. Okay, well, it's just two words. Yeah, I'll do the tool. So, um, I'll do as the bonus action. So that's the same ability. I'll do oh. the disengage. Yep. Um, and then I'll do my. Yep. No problem. Yep, so I got past him. Yeah. And then now they're trying to get on top of the thing. Yeah. Oh no. I don't think that works. Climb up. Oh yeah, you make it. That's enough. It's not that hard. Uh, so you could be right there. You could be right there. You want to be... Perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to stab her right here. And we have our flank, so advantage. Yep. Advantage, yeah. Sweet. That is a hit. I'm really glad I had advantage. <laughs> Um, and I have to... All, right. All right, Knuckles doesn't seem like um, hold on once he has one other thing that he's able to, to do with that. Okay, I'm just making sure it's not a bonus action. Or anything like that. Okay. So I have this. Uh, and it's so here it's small. Um, I can do two additional points of damage. Nice. Okay. She's still up, but messed up. You like cut her Achilles, her Achilles there. And she's gonna kind of. Are we? Uh, are we interested in capturing her alive? Possibly would be a good idea to find All right. out. If I take her down this time, I'm doing it to knock her out, not kill her. Got it. But I have advantage. Right. Because the flank. Yeah, you do. Boom. A yeah, smacker to the ground. Okay. Yeah, she's she's captured. It take all of us to roll her off the top of the. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's gonna run away. 
so Bracken just asked, can we roll her onto the bad guy on the platform? <laughs> <laughs> well, those guys. That guy ran away. I don't see why not. Uh, these guys probably. Oh, what these guys do. Right. These guys probably like take off. Also, as a watch, the watch is coming. You know the. Well, the guard is coming, so these guys take off. They probably should have done that when we got there. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so you defeated her. You grabbed the stuff that she has. Um, mm -hmm. Which is yeah. Books. She there's there's also like you also find like a chest. Um, all right, does she have it? Yeah, inside the her big giant bag is like a chest actually, which weighs like fifty pounds. Um, okay, what's inside the chest? So, in the chest, um, if you, I mean, eventually you'll get to be able to open it. Um, you probably have to come over here and talk to the 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 guard captains and stuff like that and settle things. But that happens. That's not a problem. So, oh, there's also a key um, that she has somewhere on her person. So. Uh, you're able to get the chest open. It has 13 books, uh, three scroll tubes, um, uh, but a lot of gold, a gem that kind of glows slightly, and a feather. How much gold? Uh, yeah, when you get some downtime and take the time to count it, it's like 600 gold pieces. That's nice. I like yep. that. Yep. Um, so there I think there's a conclusion. Yep. So eventually, like you guys stop Gara. Uh, we can examine the schemas uh, at a later date. Um and uh we'll probably start off the next episode with examining what you guys have. Um you're paid another 50 gold each. Or you got you guys negotiated to a hundred gold, right? To yes, from the from I guess uh, Sergeant. Um... So we we get two hundred gold each from this plus a hundred gold for completing yep. the mission. Okay. Yep. Uh, one hundred gold. I think we're putting it in like a loot. We can divvy it up, but yeah, that's about right. Okay. Sergeant Philroy. Um, and then got that. Did that. And you actually, uh, so the, the engineer comes to you and thanks you for your service as well. The engineer of the lightning rail here. Um, no one says anything about the sky coach yet, but uh, you're able to get off with this and examine the books. I mean, no one, no one really asked for like what they stole, really. Maybe maybe Kate and Diorian kind of ask if you, if she had anything else. So it's up to you if you share with him the books and this and the schema is what you find in the scroll tubes. Um, so those like, those are like blueprints for magical items schema are. So um, you find three schema and a bunch of books. The books seem to be, uh, does anyone speak giant? I don't think I speak giant. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, Brand Brandy might, but that's the only one I think of that could be speaking giant. No, I'm I'm goblin, unfortunately. Yeah, so they're like a language you don't understand, a very runic, archaic script. Maybe a dwarf scholar could read it to you because it's like that kind of it looks dwarven-ish. Excuse me, everyone. Um, and I think uh yeah, that concludes uh, the adventure and Definitely, well, guys, will um, go to third level. That was a pretty tough gauntlet of fights through here, through Terminus. So you'll make it to third level. And uh, when we continue, uh, we'll pick up. We'll pick up uh, the next adventure, actually. So, so successful completion. You captured Gara. Oh, we can do Gar interrogate Gara as well, or find out what what they know.
Should we open with that next time? That way all of our viewers know to set their notices and then they tune in, they can comment what they think she might know. Yeah, it's a good idea. As and well as hit the like button and share with their friends. And subscribe. Definitely. All right. Well, anyone have any last comments before we sign off? That was fun. Yeah. So Knuckles can put like a an ogre mark on his arm somewhere that he defeated an ogre in battle. Woohoo! Maybe Bracken can put a notch on his bow as well. So um, take a piece of that Achilles tendon that you sliced through. <laughs> hey, is that gonna be a new charm for a necklace or something? Maybe pull out an ogre tooth, pull out her, her tusk while she's unconscious. Um, <laughs> you never know. All right. Well, thank you all so much for playing. I'd like to thank my players, um, Amy, BJ, Cindy, Zach, and Connie. Thank you so much for playing and participating in the Forgotten Relics adventure. Again, it's in the Eberron Rising from the Last War book. It's a fun adventure. It also comes on the Roll20 version. You can see all these maps, these fun maps that they have. Um, so um, check it out, I think. And the next time, I think I'll probably... I don't know, depending on what direction you go, I definitely have other adventures that I have, but it might be more fun to go in the direction that, that you all as players want to go based on the schema you found, the uh, contacts you made, the DOSC that you defeated, the Boromore contacts that you've made, um, et cetera. There's a lot of other mysteries that came up during the course of play. So again, thank you all for playing. Thank you everyone for listening and uh, good night and good rolling. Thank you. Thank you.